OS Login is a Compute Engine service that simplifies SSH access management. With OS Login, Compute Engine IAM roles can be used to manage permissions for accessing instances. However, having multiple roles at different resource levels can make it confusing to figure out access issues. Let's take a look at how to investigate SSH access issues with OS Login and the IAM Policy Troubleshooter. First, let's review a few different roles that allow users to use OS Login. The compute.osadmin login role allows the user to SSH into the instance as an administrator, while compute.oslogin allows them to SSH in as a regular user. The IAM service account user role allows a user to run operations as a service account. If an instance uses a service account, users will need to have an OS login role as well as the service account user role. These roles can be granted at the project level so that they apply to all resources inside the project by default. They can also be granted at the more granular levels, such as directly on an instance. Let's walk through an example. We'll start by trying to SSH into myinstance-1. On the instance's detail page, we can see the service account for this instance. At the top of the page, the SSH button will let us connect to the instance. So let's go ahead and click it. Looks like everything is working well. Now, let's try the same thing with myinstance-2. We'll head over to the Instance Details page from the main menu. This instance is also running as the same service account, but when we scroll up, the SSH option is grayed out. It looks like we don't have permission to SSH in, but how can we figure out why the instance is different? Let's evaluate the permissions required to SSH in in the Policy Troubleshooter. We can evaluate multiple permissions on multiple resources at the same time so that we can compare the results of each. Let's check for the compute.instances.oslogin permission on myinstance-1 and myinstance-2. This permission comes from the roles that we mentioned earlier. We'll add our user as the principal and add the full resource name and permissions for each instance. Also, since these instances are running with a service account, we need to check for the iam.serviceaccounts.actas permission for our user. We'll use the full resource name for the service account. The Policy Troubleshooter shows us whether our user has these permissions on the specified resources. We can change between the evaluations using the drop-down menu. The first view shows us that our user has the OS login permission on myinstance-1. We can also see the specific IAM policy details such as the user having this permission thanks to the instance level compute OS login role. When we switch the view to the myinstance-2 evaluation, we can see that our user doesn't have the OS login permission on this instance. Since the user doesn't have the right permissions, they can't connect through SSH. Now, let's switch the view to the service account that we entered. We can see that our user has permission to act as the service account and should be able to use OS login. These results confirm that our user has not been granted the compute OS login role on my instance-2, but everything else looks good. Let's add our user by going to the Compute Engine page. From here, we can select the instance and grant our user the Compute OS Login role. After adding the role, it can take a little while for the permissions to fully update. You might need to wait a few minutes before trying again. Let's try connecting through the SSH again. Looks like it worked! and we can now SSH in successfully. Another option would have been to grant the user the Compute OS Login role at the project level, which would allow them to use OS Login for all instances in the project by default. Keep in mind the security best practice of least privilege and set your permissions accordingly. Take a look at the documentation to read more about Policy Troubleshooter.